Hi everyone, it's Children's Book Thursday. I wanted to feature the mitten today because we are supposed to get some snow, possibly up to five inches of accumulation, which I don't believe, but whatever. But I figured that this would be a good book to feature for a possible snow day. Um, the mitten was written by Jan Brett and it was published in 1989, so it's been around a while. I actually remember my librarian in elementary school reading this to us at story time in like first or second, possibly even kindergarten. Very little. So obviously it's been around. It's incredibly popular. It's based off of a Ukrainian folk tale and it's illustrated with these beautiful illustrations. They're very, very beautiful, very traditional, and I love the little mitten pictures on the side of all of them. Basically the storyline is that a little boy asks for snow white mittens from his grandmother and she doesn't want to knit them because he he is going to lose them in the snow. So get, she actually makes him the mittens, then he goes out and plays and of course what's the first thing he does? He loses it because every little kid that owns anything is going to lose it. And then because it's so frickin' cold, because it snows all the frickin' time in the Ukraine, all these animals start piling into the mitten and stretch it out at the end. I love this picture at the end where she's got a little mitten and the big stretched out mitten from a crap ton of animals going in it. I think there's like a hedgehog, there's a fox, there's a bear, there's so many different animals. It, it's pretty silly. If you go on Jan Brett's website, which I did today just to find out a little more information about her, they have these sweet printable animal masks from the book. So I made a little hedgehog mask and it's kind of awesome. I'm super jealous. So yeah, if you go on her website, you can print off a pretty sweet mask. So you can look like this and not see anything. Check out the mitten. It's a really cute book. You can probably get it from any library you go to. Even my college library had a huge children's literature section. So I would check it out on any snow day. You can settle down with a hot cup of tea or hot chocolate and enjoy the mitten. Bye, everybody.